Hello guys, what's going on? Christina back here with Enjoy Your Carry, and I have um, a fun one today. This is a small backpack by Tom Bin. This is called the Luminary. This is actually the Luminary 12. Um, there is a 12 and a 15. Both are actually retired designs by Tom Bin, but I <clears throat> only recently got my hands on one of them and it's been really nice to use because generally speaking, I don't like backpacks for EDC. It's too much. It's generally generally too big. And I just would prefer a crossbody, you know, bag worn lower on the hip. But um, I wanted to try this one out because sometimes I want my bag to contain my large water bottle. And this one has a very unique way of carrying the water bottle while remaining very small sort of sleek, tidy looking bag. And it was and has been extremely comfortable to wear. Probably the most comfortable backpack I've ever put on my back. Um, so let's get into it. This is in the cloud colorway, which um, there are lots of different colors on Tom Ben. It's like a light gray. Um, and the interior is the same color as well. Um, if you wanted to try to find one of these, you'd have to look on eBay or perhaps in any of the Tom Bin sort of resale groups that are out there. There's always one floating around that way, um, but you can't find them on the website anymore. But it's just a simple outside. There's no um, water bottle pockets on the outside or anything. You have a main zipper that appears as if it goes around the entire bag, but really there are little stops. If you could see, you see that little area right there where it looks like the zipper, there's something on the zipper. The main compartment zips down just to there. And then you have two smaller pockets on either side that zip up and you could put smaller items in. So I'm gonna, I have this packed out exactly the way that I've been using it for the past couple of weeks, and I'm gonna show you um, what I've been doing. YKK zippers, very, very, very good quality. They are a little stiff, and this is a used bag that I got. So you are not gonna be able to zip this around one-handed. It's just not the nature of these zippers, but they'll probably last forever. And it's just something to note, like if that bothers you that you can't just like easily go like this with the zipper, you might get frustrated with this because it does require two, two hands most of the time to open them. So this is the main compartment and this is how I have been using it. Now, if you notice, I have my big um, Nalgene here right in the middle because there is a water bottle pocket that basically takes up just this middle area. You see like the stitching here on the bag? That's where the water bottle pocket is. And if you don't want to use it for a water bottle, you can unzip it. It's sort of zipped in on the inside of the bag. You can unzip it and then it becomes just one large space. I love it for the water bottle because the bag is always centered. It never tips one way. It feels really steady on my back and it just keeps the bag nice and sturdy and straight. So I love it. That's one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this luminary bag. So on the, uh, on the sides of the water bottle, there's just two spaces. Two, and so I have on this side, I have just a few pouches that many of you guys have seen with my first aid and with gum and mints and things like that. On the other side, a couple of other pouches and things. And that'll give you a better look inside. Let me see if I can. I have this other thing rigged up here, which I'll show you. But that's the inside of the bag. You see that water bottle pocket attached to the opposite wall that you can unzip if you don't want it. Now, this thing here did not come with the bag but I added that because what the bag does come with are these, well, let me just show you. 
these two O-rings over here. And it's made to attach other Tom Bin accessories that they sell along with a key leash. Um, but what I kind of was longing for with this bag was some sort of organizational pocket up high in the bag, right? So there's nothing like that in the main compartment. There's no admin area. There's no place for small items, pens or pencils, or like a lip balm. There's no small spot for that. So I took this side-by-side -side pouch that you guys have maybe seen me review, and I attached these small carabiners to it, and then I just hung it there, okay? And so when the water bottle, it's not perfect at all, but it works for me for what I needed at the time. So it just hangs out right here. And then when I open the main compartment, I have right in here, I just have my mirror and hand cream. I have a lip balm, a couple of things right in this section. And then there's a zippered part on the opposite side. And I have a couple pens and Sharpies right there. So it was just a way for me to have small items that I like to get at without digging through the bag um, right up here towards the top. If this is not perfect. Obviously, it would be better if it was a little bit more taut, right, like this and not hanging down. But it was the best solution that I could come up with in a pinch, you know, and quickly. So that's how I've been doing it. Now... The side pockets, right? So this is what I've been doing. In the one side is just my keys, okay? Now let me show you how big it is. It's basically, you can see here, it fits my hand, and it almost looks like you're going to fit, you could fit more than you really can. I cannot fit anything more than my keys in here comfortably, and so I don't try. I just, I just do that. The other side, same exact pocket, same exact size. I have my AirPods, which is attached to this key leash, a Tom Bin key leash. And there is an O-ring. There's actually one in each pocket, if you can see. Let me pull it out. It's way back in there, right? So I keep it attached to the ring. And then I have my small MagSafe wallet that you guys have seen. And this... It's actually snug getting this in here. It doesn't fit great. It's not ideal. When I put the wallet in, then I kind of have to shove the AirPods. That time it went in pretty good, probably because this po this pocket of the bag, the main compartment is empty. But when it's packed full and I'm trying to put the small items back in here, it's actually tough to get them in. You can't fit as much in here as I would have liked. It's not perfect, like I said. <clears throat> There's a zipper right here, if you notice, which is sort of your tablet area, right? I think you can you can fit an iPad Pro back here. In this 12 luminary, um, I don't think a MacBook would fit. I think there was some discussion. If you sort of put the computer in this way and then twist it, you may be able to fit a MacBook uh, a 13 inch, but this is not really what it's made for. It is padded in the back and it is padded on the bottom. So it's kind of a nice protective area, but it's really more for a tablet. And I put um, like a notebook, a prayer book back here. That's what I carry every day. I don't carry a tablet. Um, my mini iPad would obviously fit back here easily, but I don't carry that every day. Um, so that's what I've been using. Anything flat, a notebook, a tablet fits in here nicely. And you don't feel on your back because the back is very well padded. It's not aerated, but this is a very small backpack. You don't really need like air channels on it, in my opinion. Um, but it's very well padded. The straps, I don't know if you guys can see, they're really cushiony. Like squishy, soft, cushiony. I don't know how else to maybe describe it, but I can tell you, and you can see that they're sort of curved as well. Um, they are one of the most comfortable straps for me personally now I'm like five five you know I'm not this really tall person so if you're really tall um, a man most likely this luminary 12 is going to feel really small maybe the 15 liter would be better 
But if you're a more petite person, um, you're going to find these really comfortable. Um, I think this does come with a sternum strap. I do not have it. Um, but I see no need for that because there's, it's a small bag and it's super duper comfortable. I added my hand sanitizer to this little attachment point right here, which I believe is for the sternum strap, but I do, I never had that. It's nice to be able to hang just, you know, one thing over here if you wanted. Again, just simple grab handle on the top. And for me, no matter what, it has always stood up when I put it down, which I love. Um, so if you're looking for like a small backpack, again, this is only 12 liters. It's not going to carry a ton of stuff. But I mean, if you can see, I just have a bunch of pouches, you know, and small items in addition to my water bottle. If you're looking for a small backpack that you can fit a large bottle in, and again, a bag this size a large bottle like this, it would immediately tip to the side if the pocket was on either side, but because it's centered right in the middle of the bag, it just really works well. If you just need maybe an iPad, a few pouches, a little tech pouch, some small ADC items, and a nice size water bottle, it's an excellent, excellent option. It's hard to link this because they don't sell it on the Tom Bin site anymore, but I'm going to do my best and put some links up for you guys to see. If you're interested in learning more about it and um, please if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I will get back to you guys um, as I always try to do thank you so much for your support please subscribe to the channel give me your feedback guys I love to read it and I will see you in the next one